Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another Kingdom Craft video underneath the starry nights over here in the Swamp Kingdom. What's up, Mr. Squid? How you doing? You having a nice night, good sir? I'm having a little swim. Looks like he's having a little bit of a swim. A little bit of a dip. Alrighty, so we are over here at the witch farm, and I've started up a little bit of the wiring here. And I wanted to first start with what I did and how I did it. So on the longest side of the lowest level, you have to add a whole nother row of block. So I just used the spruce wood plank there, and that solved that problem. Then, we can see it better from the other side, I left that open. Then basically what I did is you place a whole bunch of pistons facing towards you and two glass blocks, like so, all the way down the line. Voila, that one's pretty much done. Now you can pretty much just throw the half slabs down right away if you so choose, and the piece of glass that goes on top of this. That is a possibility. Um, but anyways, you throw another block down behind with a little bit of redstone on it. Nothing too serious. We have repeaters set to two ticks. Into another full block. Into a sticky piston facing upwards. You can see it there. And cauldrons. Cauldrons, cauldrons, cauldrons. That's right. A little bit of a cauldron thing. Um, I do want to do this though. Remember, if you're building this out in the open, cauldrons can fill up with water. <laughs> That's a thing. All right. From there, we have a half slab. It's very important to have this half slab here so it doesn't interact with the redstone down below or anywhere else um, with comparators all set away. Now, the cauldrons, the way you do it is you fill it up with a bucket and then you basically make some glass bottles and you take two bottles out per cauldron a little annoying wouldn't you say i would say so indeed now we're basically at the point here where i'm hooped i think i need more spruce we need to get some full blocks on these sticky pistons because once this sticky piston engages against that comparator that's going to start the clock down below um, so well, I'm going to grab some spruce, I'm going to sleep off the nighty night time, and we're going to see if we can't get a little bit of this up and running, um, probably not up and running at all, lack of time, all that fun stuff, but yeah, so I think it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful episode, stick around with me, and let's have some fun. Alrighty, so there we are. We got the planks in. We put in some more wood planks in the back, and I threw on the tripwire hooks as well. This is what's going to trigger the floor. So a witch spawns in, just going to hit string, boom, that's going to activate the tripwire hooks here, which are going to push these pistons, which are going to start the clock on those blocks. Pretty straightforward, nothing too, too crazy. Now there is one small little problem and i don't know if i have the stuff to fix it oh hello saplings how are you thank you very much i plant you again i might need to remove that tree or something yeah i think i only have the redstone lamps which is a bit of an issue well maybe not it might be okay uh we need that and some levers okay we're making levers that's fine that we need four cobble good for cobble four levers excellent so one of the only issues that we have here as well is that mobs can actually spawn in this section now you can't place half slabs or anything like that in this section or else it will screw up the redstone right so what we're going to do instead really really lily pad really what we're going to do instead is we're going to just place down the two lamps like so now equally we don't want this to interfere with the mob farm so really you can't make that jump there we go that's more like it so two lamps like so and we're gonna put a slab on the top as well 
So we're also going to then slab the sides. You have to use slabs here. If you don't use slabs here, again, you're probably going to get redstone interference. All right. Good and good. Now, what I think I can do... Where did that half slab go? Did I pick it up already? I might have picked it up. Can I just do this? No, I cannot. Well, that shifted the entire floor over one, didn't it? <laughs> well, dang it. As you can see, the torches also popped off, which is a good sign that it worked properly. Uh, that was bad. That was not good. I did not mean to do that, but that's fine. It's no big deal. So, yeah, I don't know if these redstone lamps will work. We might have to go grab some glowstone blocks to handle this need. But not too, too bad, right? We'll just pick them up. No big deal. Ain't no thing. There we go. You and you. Thank you very much. Now, once we install the other floor and stuff on the other side, it'll just shift back anyways. So, I'm not too, too worried. But, yeah. So, we need to get some lighting in there. And the only other next step... What? Oh, yes. Okay. The only other next step is to basically encompass this all in half slabs. Just so we don't have bad guys spawning on top of any of this stuff. And as you can see, we're not actually interfering with the above spawning, right? So, pretty straightforward, just like that. Now, nobody can spawn up there. Mobs can't spawn on the glass or the tripwire hook, so we should be good to go. Uh, the reason that those are up like that, well, that is because I did the thing. And it pushes the cauldron up, deactivating the comparator. And, of course, these aren't on sticky pistons, so they stayed up there. But that's okay. I'm actually going to leave them up there for right now as there's still purpose for me up there until we get the next level on. Um they will keep the water away from my <laughs> cauldrons if it once it starts raining because we're on a server it's gonna rain it always rains on servers right perfect so once we get the light in there and everything i think that's i think that's basically it guys is that it for the one side i think so so I'm going to try to uh, get the other side done. I realized I forgot some iron and some other stuff. But, yeah, that's not too, too bad. A pretty clean wiring system. And it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks long. So it's not too encumbersome. It's not huge by any means. So I'm pretty excited about this. I am, I am. I am excited. Okay. Anyways. Time to get to work. Alrighty, folks. Welcome back. We are pretty much set on the bottom floor here. Uh, everything is set up correctly. Oh, I haven't put in all the lamps yet. I could just do a torch as well. That would work. But for right now, eh, good enough. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to actually run tripwire like this all the way across and well you'll see so that's connected right so if i trigger it you can see the floor shifts okay that's perfect that is exactly what we want to do so basically what's going to happen here is the witches will spawn and then they will trigger the string the floral shift, as you see there, and they'll fall through, actually. So, that's very nice. Very good, very good, very good. Very happy about that. Very excited that we at least are going to have one floor triggered and pretty much ready to go. And it'll always set it back into the same spot, as you just saw right there. So, it's always triggering it back to... The side where you can see the piston over there. Okay. Perfect. It's working. Very excited. Redstone excitement, right? There we go. That one's triggered. Try not to fall. 
That probably would kill me, I think. It would be very close to killing me anyways. There we go. We'll get this guy set up. But yeah, so not too shabby. Lots of good stuff going on here. The witch farm is almost done for being operational. Um, then we have a ton of other stuff to do. But I actually have to mine a lot. Like, I've used all the iron <laughs> that we had. Um, so not good. I'm sure the guys will have something to say about that. But uh, yeah, one of those things. Beautiful. Okay, so it's all primed. It's ready to go. As you can see, it's about a stack of string per floor. So a decent amount of string. And as you see, you can spawn on hoppers? I did not know that. Anyways, um, as you can see, it is now armed and operational. I'm not going to walk across it because, well, I'm not that silly. <laughs> All right, but we are going to jump across. You can jump across here and make sure it's all working decently safe. Okay, very good. Very nice, very nice. All right, now I did start on the top floor as well up here. Uh, basically at the point now where I throw on the tripwire hooks like so. Oh boy, out of tripwire hooks as well. All right, so we're out of pistons. We're out of cauldrons. Which, by the way, cauldrons are very, very expensive in this build. Um, you think about all of the cauldrons that I've used in this thing, and holy cow. Um, yeah, good times. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, so we're going to actually take a quick little break from the witch hut, the witch farm here. And we're going to mosey on over to the next project. Because, well... Oh god, so noisy. So noisy. But we're going to mosey on over to the next project because I just basically have to repeat the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. So I'll leave that for another day. You know, no big deal. We will just get it done off camera and away we go. Why? Oh, that just looks weird because it's half slabs. Okay, fair enough. Ah, back to the beautiful mountain kingdom. Always wonderful, always wonderful. As you can see, we are cruising on over to the tree farm area over here. And as you can see, I've done a little bit of work. I've removed the walls, and I had a whole bunch of trees grown here that I had to get rid of and stuff. But that's okay, because we're actually going to improve this area a little bit. I talked with Mr. Python before he went on vacation. He said... A okay man go for it so we are going to do a little bit of a project over here now I think I showed this on video somebody I can't I don't know who exactly did some terraforming right so they terraformed this out to kind of bring the hill all together now I'm gonna actually remove some of that um, out because I actually want this wall here to almost cascade straight across. And I think leaving this little hill here isn't really necessary. So I'm thinking we'll keep it more flat uh, up to the wall. And maybe I'll even do a little bit of the wall here off camera uh, just to see how things match up. Um, but yeah, and then we'll build this little area out and maybe I'll fill in this last little section of wall. There's our rail cart to our mine area. But yeah, you can see the wall kind of coming in here from there. And then maybe we uh, come out this way and connect it. Anyways, let me play around just a little bit. There's two things that we're building in this area. We're going to build a nicer little spot or just as nice of a spot, I should say. The one we had was pretty good. It was pretty condensed, but it was pretty good overall and we're going to push the trees out the backside so i've already made one change to the little house here here's going to be the main entrance you come in like so you have access to all the stuff you're going to go out here and basically this will take you into the tree farm and that leaves all of this area over here open for our next part which is going to be the graveyard that's right we have a giant cathedral right here and every cathedral that I know has 
a graveyard, right? I'm just saying, somebody's got to die sometime. Rendog, ha <laughs> ha. Just kidding. But anyways, yeah, we're going to set up a graveyard and all that kind of stuff. Nothing too, too crazy, but a nice little simple build that's going to flesh out this corner a little bit more. Alrighty, we're back here in the world. As you can see, I've done a little bit of work over here. You got a nice little, you know, off the beaten path type pathway. That's kind of my goal here. Into the graveyard. I need to get some cobwebs and a couple other things. But, you know, just a simple little graveyard with a, a completely through access, all that kind of stuff. And, yeah, nothing too, too crazy. I realized I'm not as good as Rendog. I need Rendog over here to uh, gussy up these graves. He's very well practiced at making graves. Uh, make sure you check out his single player world as well as his Kingdom Craft stuff. Very nice, very nice. And then equally I decided, okay, well let's do a little bit of a beaten path off the side. Um, I definitely need to vary up the grounds a little bit. Uh, but as you can see, we can place a few more trees all over the place. I grew a jungle one just to kind of test it and stuff. But we have a nice little growing area. Again, we need to gussy up this up a little bit. But a nice little growing area for the items that we're using the most, right? So whether that's spruce, uh, dark oak, etc. These are the two types of trees we're using the most right now in this kingdom and in the swamp kingdom so definitely making a huge priority of those but we definitely dabble a little bit in some oak as well so i wanted to make sure we had some of that in the proper placement too there we go jungle beautiful love it um, but yeah, no, overall, I'm liking it pretty good. Again, I need to get some more coarse dirt. We need to kind of fine-tune this a little bit. But for right now, I'd say that this is a small little improvement on what we used to have. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. Kind of kept the same feel that Python had in there. I used the cobble walls and... Uh, the mossy cobble walls here and there and I just kind of expanded it and then I also tied it into the path over here oops I meant to do this that uh, that Iskel made and yeah that works great too so you know you can come around maybe he can uh, do something with this spot right here this spot just reeks for a tree and I know that he loves his trees so as do we all but yeah not too too shabby i like the little bit of the area it's nothing too crazy i'm thinking a tree here and a tree in the background will really fill it in equally i can't i don't know if you saw it but this also allows us to go all the way through which is good but i did terraform the rest of this out i fixed up that mountain I kind of extended this one, and I also mapped out a little bit of the walls here and where our next tower is going to be. Yeah, I saw you. I saw your head poking through. Yes, I did. Uh, but yeah, so kind of mapped out where the next tower is going to go as well. Eh, yes, got it. Mobs are getting in. I don't want them to be able to get in. Um, but yeah, so we got a little bit of a tower mapped out and the wall mapped out as well as a nicely terraformed little area over here. So overall, pretty good. Lots of work still to be done, but not too bad at all. Anyways, guys, I know this video is actually quite short for everything that I showed you. And I'm sure you're wanting that much more, but I am actually on day five with this video and recording this video. I've been having a little bit of headaches and stuff like that here lately. So um, anyways, I hope you liked that video. I hope you subscribe. I hope you comment. Make sure you let me know anything. Let me know how you guys are feeling about the general vibe of the series. Let me know how you guys are feeling in general about how I am performing. Anyways, ah, that's a nice little variation. I kind of like that. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for me. Bye-bye for now. See ya.